I'm going to start with this one. It's called the Foretold Westmark Legacy. So all I know about this game is it looks fucking cool. Um, and also there's a game called Westmark Manor that I think was developed by the same people. So I started this game, right, and I was enjoying it. Um, but I was using cheats because it's like kind of fucking annoying. I'm sorry. It's kind of freaking annoying um, and frustrating, but it is a puzzle game. I do want to return to it, but it's a little cracked. So anyway, that's where I recognize Westmark from, which they also developed that game. Anyway, let's just go, baby. I think it'll probably be easier for me to just use display capture if I'm like playing a bunch of different demos than than using game capture. Though maybe if the performance is like complete sh shite, then maybe I will use um, <clears throat> game capture. I'm not sure. I guess we'll have to see. We shall see. Um, okay. What is this called? The Foretold? Foretold Westmark Legacy. I just added an empty stream marker. What is going on? Hi, I'm new here. <laughs> what the fuck? Um. Okay. I can't believe I've been streaming for fucking... How long has it been? Six years that oh well anyway let's move on. <laughs> that was enough attention to show that. <laughs> let's move on. Oh no. Fuck dude. Some of you guys have okay, you know what? We're not gonna do that right now. Moving on. <clears throat> Moving on. Nothing to see here. This... Why don't I hear anything? Okay. This work in progress demo will give you a little taste of our game and allow feedback before the release in 2023. Please feel free to get in touch with us on the Steam forums or via Twitter. If you enjoy the game, please wishlist on Steam. It really helps. And support us on Kickstarter to unlock some really cool stretch goals and help us get this game's vision fully realized. Let me see the Kickstarter. Did they get fully funded? They did not. Funding canceled. They got half of their goal. A little less than half of their goal. So is this like not... Okay, we did not hit the goal and I have to tell you with heavy heart we are canceling the kickstarter campaign we shall rise out of the ashes okay it might take longer it might be a bit more of a bumpy ride but the game will release very soon okay that's good to know that they're still making the game despite not reaching their kickstarter goal okay all right, I hear it now. Okay, alpha demo. Let us say.
Okay, start. <clears throat> Who would have thought my luck turning for the worse? Seems hereditary at this point. Hopefully, summons issued by the lawyer won't take too long. <laughs> Lawyers. Wretched scoundrels. But the more I think about it, the more predictable it becomes. Being surprised was the last emotion I felt at the news. The one and only Westmark. A title I now bear. I guess it's my duty to survive now, no matter how distorted that burden may be. Oh, that, that cut was weird. Um, that was a cool... In okay, what the fuck? Did my shit just glitch out? What the hell, Bobby? Okay. That was that was a cool intro. I'm not gonna lie. I wish it had subtitles though, but yeah. It probably doesn't just because it's the demo, I'm guessing. <clears throat> um, one second. <clears throat> Let me say something. I don't get why I just did all this sh crap to get the subtitles. Okay, they're working again. I don't know why it like breaks for me. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry. We're good. Her oh my god, her name is Herbert. How to play. Every time you step on a persona spot, you get to pick one persona skill. These choices affect how you deal with skill checks and dialogues and combat, so pick carefully. Oh, brother. Okay, mind, body, and soul. Persona types. Mind is the investigator type, the person who loves to tinker and prod at problems. Body is the physical type, the person who brute forces their problem solving. Soul is the charismatic type, the person who solves the problem in mischievous ways. Okay, I'm thinking I like soul. Soul and mind, preferably. Okay. There's our deck. Our inventory. We got some coins, a pocket knife. And our family tome. Interesting. Notebook. The invitation. Dear Herbert Westmark, I hope this letter finds you well. We, Flanagan Brothers Law, have been trying to reach out to you due to an accident in Burmouth several years ago. Theodore is classified as deceased after being reported missing. You are the heir of the Westmark property and holdings. I would love to arrange a meeting at our firm to discuss the details of the arrangements and to sign the necessary papers. My deepest condolences and well wishes. Cecil Flanagan, Flanagan Brothers Law. Okay. What is this? Oh, I'm going there. Herbert. Item required. Item. When this oh, letter shit. arrived, I believed it to be a poor joke to rile me up. Shove the recent death of my mother back into my face. I was right in some twisted way. 
on my father's side of the family. A nephew I never knew existed had disappeared and been declared dead. I had been named the heir of the Westmark fortune. I love the voice acting. Oh my god, I love it. God, you are so gloomy. Grief is fine and all, but you didn't even know these people. <sighs> Ambrose, not now. Fine, fine, just wanted to help out. I suppose there is one good thing born from this tragedy. The family heirloom. Its safety is now my only priority. I've been with the Westmarks for generations, and holding knowledge acquired through dedicated research. The voice acting is superb. Yes, and it would be helpful if you know how to interpret the damn thing. It's the book that got us into this situation. Why are he cooking me, bro? Well, it doesn't help it being written in a dead language. Mm-hmm. Okay. Whoa there! Oh, for God's sake. This is the fifth time you've stopped. Do you really want to get paid the other half? Nah, not it, sir. Yeah, I need to relieve myself, if you don't mind. It won't take too long. I've played Resident Evil 4. Okay, I know how this, how this goes. Oh, not too long at all. It's happening. The copious drink's finally getting to the man. It's a wonder why the driver did not stop earlier to relieve himself. Or why I even took him up on the offer to guide me. Desperation, all of them were drunk. The man was on the border between sobriety and complete inebriation when we met him at the pub. You get what you pay for. He should have been here by now. Oh, I bet he just tipped over and fell asleep in the mud somewhere. Ah! That sounds like trouble. Sounds serious indeed. Better go and see what that was. Or we could just leave. We could we could become the coach driver and we could like skedaddle out of here, you feel me? It's locked. You need to force it to open. Pocket knife. Okay. Phase one. Oh, this is cool. Your hand. You can at max hold five cards in your hand. Use the cards by clicking and dragging them onto a highlighted card on the board. If it isn't highlighted, then you can't place it. Okay. The main objective is to lock in as many slots in the bottom row as you can to strengthen your upcoming action. You lock slots by combining and manipulating the focus cards on the board into the number shown on the slots furthest down. You lock slots by combining and manipulating the focus cards on the board into the number shown on the slots furthest down. Your action, top left, updates every time you lock in a slot. Divides a card by two, rounded down. Pulls adjacent cards together and adds them up. Moves the card one step right and pushes any blocking card. Value decreased by one? Oh, not math. Not the math. Board effect board disorient. This will cycle the cards on the board as if you used a card. Ending a phase triggers your actions that you have built up. You may only use this once you have locked in at least one slot in the bottom row. Okay. 
Use the card one step left and pushes any blocking card. Is there a blocking card? Divides a card by two rounded down. <clears throat> Wait. Turns and phases. Combat is ordered in turns. When the turn timer hits zero, the current phase will end. The action you have prepared will be executed. After the action has been made, a new phase will start. The amount of turns you get next time is based on the weapon's turns value. The amount of turns you get is listed in the weapon tooltip. Tool Using a card costs a turn unless stated otherwise. Past turns and phases. Okay, prematurely. This will execute whatever you have stored in your actions. You can also pass your turn if you don't want to use the current cards in your hand. <clears throat> okay. So then I want three to go over here. Okay, I understand. I get it. Um... Blocking. When locking in a slot, it blocks everything above it. No cards will fall onto it, and the locked slot won't be manipulated by any cards from your hand. Oh. 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 Okay. My mistake. Divides a card by two rounded down? That's not minus two. That's f what's five divided by two. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. I don't think I can move. Ay, ay, ay. What the hell? Bruh. weird nice this is interesting this is interesting you survived another encounter with your life intact yay that was actually my first one I survived but thank you <clears throat> you found shimmer water flask a flask shining like sunlight, containing what seems to be a consecrated fluid. Using this could hurt any corrupt being by the mere touch of one drop. Interesting. Okay. Persona. <clears throat> Can I equip anything? Not yet. Persona point gained one. Okay. 
allows you to redraw your complete hand. Stack two times the lock value in the highest value slot to add the same value as damage. What? Stack two times the lock value in the highest value slot to add the same value. I don't, yeah, my brain does not get that. Um, a hundred chance to dodge. Life le leech. Steal HP with the amount of damage you deal. Ooh. We definitely, I want whatever that is. I want whatever that is. So. Consumables. Some items that you collect will be categorized as consumables. This means that you can use them in your inventory and get different benefits when using them. Consumable items are a one-time use, so use them wisely. Can I equip stuff now, please? No? Oh, yeah, I can. Okay, so this stuff you don't equip. This you don't equip. This you can equip, and this you can equip. Some simple supplies to patch my wounds up. Can I not... Oh, I can use this, but I can't equip it. Interesting. Okay. I wish I knew... What is this? No, that's not what I need. What is the button? What is... Get out of my face, bro. Thanks. What is this, and what is that? Go in there. Uh, what was his name? Tom? Tim? Something? Driver? Are you there? Oh, God, no. What? The man is torn to shreds. I've never seen such a brutal malevolence from an animal. Oh, At least checks. we're close. The sign, Herbert. We better get moving. Whoever, whatever, did this must be nearby. What did this to him? And the poor man's chest is split open by sharp teeth or vicious claws, revealing the content of his innards. Is this really a bear's work? Can it have been some rabid wolf? They are common here. I know that for a fact. Yet anger clings to this act of violence, as whatever did this continued the attack past his death. Why is it so goopy? Yes, it's all fascinating. But maybe we should move before whatever did this decides we are on the menu. You need to stay alive for me, you know. I lean in to have a smell. The remains have a whiff of iron and sulfur. Oh, you know damn well I'm investigating that. Hmm. What? The corpse is fresh, but smells as if it has been decomposing for some time. Identification kit general. Oh, and I missed out on that. Crap. Okay. So now we know if we see a question mark, we should click on it before we click on the magnifying glass. At least now we know. I'll never know what that was. <laughs> okay, how do I look at my inventory? Kit used for field work. Great tool for investigations when my eyes and ears fail me. Okay. Interesting. I can equip this, but it also says that I only have one. That is very interesting. Okay. Persona point gain. Life leech, slay. Shielding displacement. Okay, what are the rest of these? More life leech. Oh, I can't see further. Interesting. Refocus. Collect your mind and gain one additional turn when redrawing your hand. Okay. <clears throat> so shield and health and redraw. Shield. Dodge shield. <clears throat> Life leech. Overload damage. 15 health. Extra focus. Health. 
Okay, cool. Um, do I have to get something? No, I don't. That's cool. I like not being forced to spend my points. Just kidding. I already spent it. <laughs> I'm a bit slow, love. Um, all right. Ahem. Remember how we met? My first magical incantation. It uh, didn't go as planned. It's the bane of my existence. I'm stuck around your neck because you made a mistake. Come now, it was my first time. That's no excuse. You tried to help that nice lady. What's her name? Penelope? Patricia. Patricia! Excuse me, Patricia. You exorcised me, but instead of sending me home, you attached me to you. A simple spelling mistake. I feel so abused. We will find a way to get you home. Kind of why I saved the transcript of the incantation. To be able to fix it. I wish in the dialogue between them that it would automatically continue since it's voiced. But... Or you could like hold it to pause. Just a nitpick because I wanted to get up and get some applesauce. <laughs> I have to stay here and click continue. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Checkpoint game save. You're telling me my game didn't save that. You're telling me I could have gone back? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Ooh, okay, that's scary. Sometimes I wonder if all this happens for a reason. As if all this needs to occur in order for me to become a better man or whatever those wise men usually say. Judging from my observations, you should be wise at this age, but you have a hard time learning from your mistakes. Ah, shh. Hear that? You just want to get me quiet. I get it. I... No, no, no. The birds, the wind. It all stopped. What the hell is that? <laughs> Not me, literally, just like minding my business. I'm fucking like glug glug from my applesauce bottle. I put it down and I see a corrupted rat. Mm. That looks like a little bit more than a corrupted rat, love. What do I know? That's so scary looking. I'm like scared. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Lick whip. What the hell? Don't lick me, bro. I don't want to be licked. Okay. <clears throat> so, okay, okay. We maybe want to get... Hmm. If I just let four and three chill, then that'll be seven for two rounds or two turns. I probably want to get... Ay, ay, ay. Three... F okay. Five, maybe if I do, <clears throat> if I, why are all, I have all right, okay, I want to move this here, and then move, I guess, okay. Are we good? Is my bitrate good? I don't know what's going on today. It's frustrating. <clears throat> okay. Um, so then I could... That's not... That's not right! Uh, how could you do that to me? You were supposed to go over there. <laughs> uh, oh, good <clears throat> Okay. 
Jesus Christ. What the hell? Um. And adds them up. No, no, don't do that. I don't want to do that. <clears throat> Fuck. One step left and pushes any blocking card. <clears throat> what the frig? <clears throat> Let me seven and lock. Okay. Hello, Rec. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. We need ten. I need six. Okay, fuck. <clears throat> Can I use that on this? What? Okay, I don't even know what I just did. Um. <clears throat> But all right, <clears throat> interesting. So I want one here. I <clears throat> can I like push one? Do you think if I push one to the left, it'll move over here? It's probably not gonna do that, right? I'm gonna try it. Oh my God. That's dope. Okay, that's dope. That's dope. That's dope. I fucks with that. I didn't say it. It censored it, but I didn't say it. I said fugs. Yeah, that's right. F-U-G-S. Text-to-speech. Thank you. We should- I was gonna- I was thinking maybe I should start like a fu- A fugging? <laughs> I didn't say it again. I should say like a- I should start like a uh, like a swear jar, but I already have like no money, and I don't want to go into debt. So <laughs> maybe we'll shelve that idea and do it in the future. So, <laughs> um, okay. So slay. Oh, I only have one turn left. Oh, yeah. Alteration value decreased by one. Mm. I could move, I could move, okay. Well, okay, wait a minute. Pulls adjacent cards together and adds them up. That would be cool because that would be 10. Or I could move this over. Actually, I can't move it over because I don't have any of the shift right. So let's see what it does when we use combine. Pulls adjacent cards together and adds them up. I'm hoping if I use it here, it will add four to two and then drop. Please, thank you so much. I love you. Cook them. Nice. I cooked him. I cooked, I'ma cook that rat. And I got some health back. Uh, two, but... <laughs> Who is better than zero? What's up, T? Gonna owe yourself? No, no. That's the thing, though. If I had, like, a swear jar, I, it wouldn't be, like, it would be money that I'd have to pay, but then, like, somebody else would get that money. Like, I wouldn't want to just, like, keep it. That's not really good initiative. <laughs> could donate it or buy one of you guys games a game with it or something i don't know it would be the 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 stream community pool so to speak it wouldn't i wouldn't <laughs> i wouldn't put money in the jar and then just give it back to myself because i'm never gonna stop cussing <laughs> i've already tried to do this it's just not it's not plausible for me I just like swearing too much. It's fun. So I don't, it's not, it's not like a plausible thing for me to actually reach that. Okay. <clears throat> Nine, six, six, six. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <clears throat> All right. 
we could do divides a card by two rounded down. I chawawa. Okay. That's not really what I want for any of these. What's good? Nothing. You know, I'm gonna play some demos today. Because I got a lot of demos installed. So I'm starting with this one. Which is like a card game. But it's it's really... Not that it's a card game. But it's a card game. It's really cool. It's like dark. I don't know. I fugs with it. That's right. F-U-G-S text-to-speech. I know you got me. Don't say I cussed again. Don't do it. Anyway, this game is cool. You gotta do math, but it's like not like scary math. At least not yet. <laughs> I'm sure it'll get scary in the actual game. <clears throat> All right. So. I can't believe they gave me three sixes in a row. What kind of, what kind of Bologna is that, bruh? Be for real. Moves a card one step right and pushes any blocking card. Mm -hmm. Aichawawa. Okay. If I move this to the right, then that means four will be there and four will be there. Uh, I don't think I want to do that just now. I don't think so. <clears throat> His name is Herbert. I can't get over that. That's why. Okay. <clears throat> um. Three, three. Ay, 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 bro. What am I doing here? I think I'm gonna do this. <clears throat> What does locked in mean? Am I gonna use that next? Uh, I don't know. I hope I don't use it. I feel like it would be a waste now. <clears throat> well, I could be wrong. Alright, I just want one, bro. And I'm gonna get more than one. <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Stop it. Moves the card one step right. Ay 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 ay. Ay Okay. <clears throat> what if I use this? <laughs> oh slay. That's fucking fire. That's that's fucking fire, dog. That's fucking fire, dog. <laughs> <laughs> I really like the gameplay of this. Like, it's challenging, but, like, I I was kind of worried because, like, you guys know I'm, like, really slow in my brain. I, like, read stuff, and it takes me, like, a long time of, like, physical practice of doing the thing to get it. But, like, I was able to pick this up pretty quickly. That's not to say that the game won't reach heights that deeply confuse me. Um... But this is like, it's like simple, but it's like still kind of challenging. And I don't know. I like it a lot so far. Um, so we need six and six and I have two turns left. <clears throat> Pulls the Jason cards together and adds them up. Hey, what's up, Jay? How are you? So I can move this to the left, which would pull it here. But then that would be eight. <clears throat> so I don't really want to do that. Uh, bug. Should I? 
Hmm. That would be five. See, that's already too much. I could do... I could try this. <clears throat> so we want two and two. <clears throat> so I could do two for this. Um, and then that one just won't have six. I'm gonna push this there. Nice. Cook him. Cook this trucker. Bye bye. Goodbye, stinky corrupted rat. Smell you later. What the H? <laughs> on the right it was a corrupted rat what you never been to new york before <laughs> i leveled this up what oh wait i'm confused i thought equipment could only be used once Oh, it means I have it for four more turns? I don't really understand what's happening here. Summoning bell. An old bell that has an inscription on the inside. Barrier of bliss is granted for whom the bell tolls. Okay. Okay. That thing. I don't... I don't know. I've never seen anything of the sort before. Perhaps these... Foreign lands hold undiscovered flora and fauna. Do you really believe that? I came here for one thing. Answers. Answers for the contents of this book. Nothing more. Right. Thinking your family and the estate may hold answers? Let us just go. Bro, did you really just use that at full HP? Oh no, I was missing, what, 2 HP and I used it? Cringe. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Bermuth. <clears throat> peculiar name for a peculiar town. Minuscule signs of life. The odd footsteps in the drying mud, and hints of chimney smoke still hanging in the air, appear to fade away. It's as if the people of this town don't wish to be known. Or found. Rare glimpses of the townsfolk send shivers down my spine. A few of them look as if they were plucked out of a grave. All scrawny and pale looking. Hey, that's me by the way. You better keep your distance from these people. They don't seem to be the friendly type. So I could rest, or I could do whatever that is. I don't need to rest, but let's just see what happens. Unsurprisingly, oh. there is only one establishment open this okay. late at night. Getting a room shouldn't be very difficult when taking in the state of the building. It must have seen better days. But neither me nor Ambrose are deterred. <laughs> Sleep is desperately needed if I want to keep my full wits about me. After all, first impressions are essential to lawyers. <sighs> Good evening. I am in need of a room for the night. Do you have anything available? A bleak expression is the response to my inquiry. No polite hello to a possible pain lodger. Instead, the man continues to give signs of disinterest. 
Although his gaze never strays from me. Mm. Not the chatty type. Uh. Slap face. Fuck it. A vacant stare back and no reaction. That was fun. Do it again. <laughs> He must hate his job dearly. What if we sign the ledger? There. Herbert Westmark. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> no way. Can I talk to him again? I'd have better luck speaking to a wall. Oh. That was funny. How much did I pay for that? I didn't even pay attention. How much coin I had prior to that, I don't know. <clears throat> oh, what a night. After a hard back straining mattress and moaning neighbors, I can hardly believe the price for the room is worth the amount of sleep gained. <clears throat> You are nagging more than my father. Ambrose, don't start now. It's too early for that. <clears throat> Ooh, what is this? Hello. Oh, I missed that. Do you see? I missed the, the other symbol thing. Who might you be? <clears throat> Not too many travelers in these parts. Are you alone? No, I have Ambrosia with me. I knew that. It's that friend of yours. Never able to leave him, are you? Does he see me? Impressive. Hey, what are you doing here? Ah, come closer, friend. I won't bite. Bruh. I am a humble trader, trying to make ends meet. <laughs> for the right of coin. I will let you purchase a card of mine. Wish to trade? Nice. All right, cleanse. Clears a slot from a curse. Uh-oh. Doesn't cost a turn. Doesn't trigger focus cards to move down. Okay. Six dollars? Ten dollars? Grants you an additional turn. Pulls down a specific card on the board. Ooh, these are fire. Doesn't cost a turn. Ooh. I'm definitely going to get this. Because I don't know what a curse is, but I'm scared, bruh. Always a pleasure doing business with a fellow traveler. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye. Yeah, so I missed out on whatever this was because I took a little nappy. I took a nappy. That's okay. The receptionist guided me through the hallways. I could tell a well-off lawyer works here, judging by the opulent decor, and that they could afford all this in a small town like Bermouth is baffling. He seems to be very proper indeed. The receptionist told me to wait for Mr. Brooks in the office. So, here I am, waiting. Wait, search through the desk, have a look through the trash. Fuck it. I rummage through letters and other random things in the bin. I hope to dig something up on this Cecil character. What I do find is a crumpled up paper with strange symbols. So I scribble it down for future reference. Cool. Sorry for keeping you waiting. I've had a uh, quite a busy time lately. He just sees me rummaging through his trash. A crumpled paper that contains a list of symbols with numbers and then a whole page with strange combinations. On the back side, there's another number noted down. Bookshelf 862. Cool. Cool beans. Welcome. Please, have a seat. 
Of all the humans in your world that you've shown me, this one takes the prize. He looks like a chump and smells of garlic. You're a long way from home, Herbert. Care for a drink? I'd rather not. Thank you. Throat is screaming for a wash of the sting, but I promised myself to abstain from such pleasures. He gives me a look as he turns away towards the bar. Bro, you just rummaged through that. His. <laughs> I can't speak. You just rummaged through that man's trash. You better not. You better not drink anything he gives you. <laughs> we. Uh uh. <laughs> no. <clears throat> you want it? Don't deny it. Fuck. He gives me a stare, and I, in response, sweat like there was no tomorrow. I'm weak-minded. You sure? Uh, a small sip won't kill, right? Okay, Herbert. If you die, I hope it's painful for not listening. All right. So, <clears throat> how was the trip? It took ten of my health. What? What? I don't understand. Right? I stood my guard. Y'all saw me stand my guard. Herbert is weak. Herbert has no spine. He's a fish. The driver we came with got attacked by an animal of some kind. Oh, is he okay? Mm. I'm afraid he is dead. I found myself eye to eye with it, but something was off. Off? How? She's still so in on it, bro. It just didn't look like any animal I've seen before. And believe me, I've seen some oddities in my life. Yeah, we can have some strange things around these parts of the state. People have gone missing around here lately. Inhabitants here say the grounds are cursed, but I am a non-believer in such things. Even heard people going mad in the middle of town, so you better be careful out there. If you're a non-believer, then why did you write all those strange symbols on the paper that you threw out? In a trash. Not that I'd know anything about that, but like... <laughs> the math is not adding up. So, you're here because you are the only living relative left on record. <clears throat> well, due to the circumstances we found ourselves at, the time has passed since the event of Theodore being declared deceased has created some problems for us here at the office. We are looking at four years of no contact. Excuse me, I don't really follow. Oh, well, Theodore, your nephew, was declared missing for quite some time after the incident with the estate because no body was found. Is this about Westmark Manor, bro? Where the hell's my steam? Where the hell? I just wanted to see if this is like connected to the past game's um, story. Theodore. Okay, so it is. Um, so Theodore Westmark is the guy that you play in Westmark Manor. Um, and apparently he died, or he went missing. And his body wasn't found, so that kind of spoils that game for me. Um, but it's fine. <laughs> um, that's cool that they're directly linked, though. I definitely need to go back and, like, play and finish... Um, that game. I have to start it over again, but yeah. <laughs> Incident. <sighs> I suppose the letter didn't say anything about that, did it? Well, about four years ago, the estate was rumored to be dabbling in dark arts. I don't know much about you Westmarks, so I'm not the one to ask. The estate is still part of the Westmark family, right? Eh, yes and no. It's a legal fine line at this point. 
Now that you're here, we could start the judicious process of retaking those grounds. So everything my family built is just rubble? Nothing survived? Hmm. The incident really did something to that place. Not much left there, I'm afraid. But legally, you are allowed to overtake the premises and take whatever original assets you find that belong to the Westmarks. I recommend you go see it for yourself. Is it livable? <laughs> I haven't seen the place for myself. People say it's basically a large crater. Not many ventures that far east. They say the forest there is haunted. Maybe we should cut our losses and head home. But what if there are clues as to what happened? Besides, I didn't travel this far for nothing. Right, I am growing older by the minute. What are we talking about here? Is it money? Do I get the estate? Yes and no. I suggest once you sign the deed to go to the estate and have a look at what you want to do with the place. Any monetary gains left by the Westmarks here have been sorted by the bank, uh, loans and whatnot. I took a small commission for writing up the deed, and so the remaining fortune is at $20. The sleazy bastard tells me those numbers with a condescending tone and a smile I would like to crush barehanded. The travel expenses alone were more than that. I tell myself not to make a scene and just sign the darn papers. Ah, there we go. You can keep the pen. Oh, pleasure doing business with you. And if you have any questions, you can always come back to me. He seems quite nice. We should check out that estate. Maybe we will find some answers as to what happened to your family and get some closure, right? Oh, and one more thing before I forget. Could you check on George by the lighthouse? He owes me a visit, but I haven't heard back from him in quite a while. No, sorry, bye. Oh, I don't know. There's barely anyone left in town to ask for help. You see, they will lose everything they own if they don't contact me soon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. Bye. I slowly nod my head in disbelief that I'm <laughs> taking on a request when I've just been bamboozled out of a fortune. Bug. Damn. I need for pressure us to drink. We lost 10 HP. What the frig? What the frick? Bookshelf? 8692. 862. Where did I get the 9 from? I think I'm cracked. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Do I have a level? Oh, that's what this means. Okay. I could have gotten a persona point. If I didn't go to sleep. I didn't even need to go to sleep, bruh. Fug, I didn't realize the day it was... Whatever. It seems like you can only ever... Like, in the instant... Why do I have this? Um. Okay, whatever. Um. It's one or the other when it comes to things in this game. It would seem. It would seem. It would seem. <clears throat> Checkpoint game saved. Damn. I wish you could see, like, can I see which one is which? Okay, cool. Encounter, crows. 28 HP. Drunkard. Ew, look at him. <gasps> what the hell? <clears throat> what the hell? Enemy type body. I don't want to attack the birds. I'm going to attack this drunk man instead. <laughs> Ew, look at him. Choose your next action. Shimmer water flies. This is used. Using this could hurt any corrupt being. Okay, but he doesn't really look corrupt. Does he just looks insane? Damage shield. Use this, I guess. 
sir got a mean under but he do and he's missing an arm what's going on bro mm -hmm. fuck god my bit rate today is tragic what the hell is going on get it together please i would like Please, you don't understand. <laughs> you don't understand. I wanted to do a demo day yesterday, but I wasn't feeling it, like mentally feeling it. And then today, I literally all I I got two and a half hours of sleep after being up for like 15 hours. But I was like, you know what? I feel good. I feel good. I feel good. I'm really gonna cope. And then I had to do chores. It's been like fucking four hours plus doing chores and i'm like finally i'm done i'm done i can stream and comcast is like mm, we don't think so big fella like pepe hands all right anyway moving on bottle of alcohol um <clears throat> Herbert in his little book. He's so cute. He's so cute with it. Alright, so I want five four five four. <clears throat> okay, if I use this here, then that'll make it what? One? And then I can just use those there and then <clears throat> so that'll be five and then if I wait for that I think one two okay that should be four. Ay, ay, ay. What did I want to do? That's five. Fuck, dude. So five, and then I could push. <clears throat> see two. I could push to there, and that'd be four. Ay ay ay. <clears throat> this is not what I wanted. This is not what I wanted. This is not what I wanted. Why do I have shift right up the kazoo, bro? Ay, ay, ay. All right. <clears throat> I cannot think ahead. My brain is fizzling out. Fuck. 
This looks cool, but I have no idea what's happening. It's okay. It's actually super easy to pick up. And so much that I can literally explain it to you right now. So, basically, like, this is your, um, like, your table, so to speak. So these are cards that you have on the table that'll play in future rounds. But they aren't in this slot. So they're not immediate. Those are, like, your two to have cards like in future turns right so these are your prominent cards these when you when you have a turn these will drop to whatever slot is beneath them and what you want to do is try to match the cards that drop to the numbers assigned to these four final slots so this final slot was five and i add up the cards that dropped into that slot to five so it's locked i want to get this to four and this to four and this to five so this i'd either want like i essentially would want a three because then i'd get to four but say i had Say I had a number like six. Sometimes you can divide depending on the cards. It depends on the cards that you have. Um, so this value decreased by one. If I applied that to this card, it would make it three instead of four. Now this card doesn't drop because this is already locked. But I can move it, like if I shift it right, it'll move four here. And then when my turn is done, it'll drop four to here. And if there's a card in front of it, so if I use modifier shift right here, it would move the blocking card to the right. So four would be here and then two would be there and four would drop at the end of my turn. It's really simple so far. It's really simple. And so like, depending on the amount of turns you have, when you are done with all of your turns, that's when the, like, the action is taken. Where like Herbert does the amount of damage he does based on how many of these you were able to lock in. So his damage output depends on, yeah, how many of these you lock in. Um, and it's not looking good. It's not looking good for me this turn, this round, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Um, I'm distracted. But yeah, it's actually super simple thus far, but like really, really cool. So like, okay, say that I turn this to the left, right? Like there's nothing over here. Um, so one step left, it would actually move it here. And then it would drop two. And then if I had another turn, it would drop three. Which is cool. But, yeah. <clears throat> and that's it. That's literally... That's pretty much the gist of it. Um, yeah. <clears throat> I should just... I should accept the L, I think, for this one, boys. Just take the frickin' L, you know? Just take it. I chihuahua. <laughs> Whatever. I'm doing- I'm just gonna do that. I did nothing to him. Oh, I dodged it! Slay? Okay. Nice. I don't have a curse yet, but that's nice. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> so six, three, four, and five. Okay, I want to move four here, and I don't have a right one. I hate it here. Oh, fuck. Um, value decreased by one. 
So that drops. That's That should lock. Okay, now I need four for here. <clears throat> oh, no. No, no, I need right. I need it right, you butt muncher. All right. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay. Divide a card by two, round it down. <clears throat> so, hmm. What the hell is five divided by two, rounded down? Is that just two or one? Is that two? I guess it's two. That would be two, I'm guessing. Two divided by two would be one. <laughs> Maybe I should do that. <clears throat> then that'll drop to be six. <clears throat> All right. Oh, fuck, dude. <clears throat> Why you give me all left? You're so dumb for that, bro. You're literally cringe. Pulls adjacent cards together and adds them up. Ah, no. <clears throat> God damn it. I could, yeah, fuck. Well, at least I have this going for me. I hope, I hope, I hope I do. Okay, that kind of took a chunk. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright, three, four, three, eight. <clears throat> eight? <laughs> Why? <clears throat> Does that move all of them over if I use this here? Yes, it does. Okay, cool. That locks. I can move this there. <clears throat> Fuck. That locks. Should have gotten that card that gives me an extra turn. <clears throat> but as soon as I saw that I could get cursed, I was like, well, crap. Now I have to get it because I feel like it's going to happen. It did not. It has not yet. Anyway. <clears throat> All right. I <clears> tell <throat> All right, bruh. What the frig? <clears throat> It'd be nice when you get more cards, because it's very limited at the moment. Divides a card by two rounded down, so one. So then that would be- that would lock. Okay. <laughs> nice. I locked in three. So I did eight damage. Nice. Okay, I can move this over one. <clears throat> what if I move them all over one? Like if I move this over one, I think that would be ideal. That'll lock. That can lock there. <clears throat> Are you decreased by one? <clears throat> lock, lock. Okay. Nice. Um, <clears throat> and then I have one turn left. Which means... Shiesten. 
Could I like move it here? No. All right, well. I can't get five. I can't get five. Nice. Yeah, take that, you frick. <laughs> Damn it. I'm like, oh, okay, I'll use left. I don't have the car. I should have, I should have did it, did it on the right one. Oh my god, I wasn't thinking. Two? Come on. Come on, just kill this man. Just kill him already. <laughs> I'm sick, bro. <bruh. clears throat> Alright. I can drop. Oh my god, am I a god or what? No, I'm not. That was so close. I almost had all of them. But it's okay. Bye bye, drunkard. Stinky. Your gameplay takes a while because you be adding cards and stuff. Oh, I got a gun! Tansa hit his barrel locking in slots. I got a gun! Eight damn- Forty percent chance to hit. What, have I never fired a gun before in my life? In my life? Oh, I could pick between a level up or the merchant. How much money do I have? Twenty-nine. You know we gotta go for the merchant. The level ups are fire, but like, you know, we got to go for the merchant to add to our cards, bro. 
Oh shit, what is that? Oh, that's the other thing that the crows. We have got to go to the merchant. Ah, we meet again. Care for a new card. Yes, please. Thank you. All right, we got additional turn. Grants an additional turn and doesn't cost a turn and doesn't trigger my focus cards to move down. Shift right. Doesn't cost a turn. These are sexy, bro. Grants an additional turn. The board freezes and you can perform one extra action before your turn is over. Ooh, that's fire. Phase suspension and pull. Oh, shift right doesn't cost a turn. I might have to go with that. I mean, additional turn is nice, but I, and I feel like, I feel like in that last fight, I truly feel like I would have definitely benefited from having like at least one more, well, obviously, but like one more turn. This phase suspension is fire though. Mm, but I think I'm going to have to go with shift right because this doesn't cost a turn. Oh, I can buy more than just one. Okay, okay. We got 29. I don't know what else we use our, our goal for, bro. So, I mean, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> what should we get? Definitely this. Maybe additional turn. <clears throat> or maybe pull. <clears throat> yo, should I just... Yo, fuck it, we ball? Fuck it, we ball? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Yeah, I'm gonna get pull and My shift. Pleasure. Right. Thank you, King. Farewell. Bye-bye, see you next time. Okay. Game saves. Nice. I arrive at a seemingly broken stone bridge. Bruh. This is simple. Either I take a leap of faith to get over the bridge, or drop down into water. Boy, you better jump. Lord have mercy. <coughs> you are a funny old man. <laughs> Thank you, Ambrose. Yo, how do you miss your jump, bro? Toad man? Um, no, I think I'm gonna go over here. I think I'm gonna go over here, actually. Oh, shit. Oh, so it's not just like leveling, but you miss out on the others. Oh, okay, did not know that. I did not know that. I didn't know that now. Refocus, collect your mind. Okay. Gain one additional turn in redrawing your hand. Allows you to redraw your complete hand. Ooh. Extra focus. Start with one extra focus when activating a new weapon. Shielding displacement. Each time a card gets shifted left or right, you get plus one shield. Uh, oh, yeah, I gotta go with that. <laughs> I gotta go. Listen, I love a good offense, but nothing beats a good defense. Okay, fellas? I'm gonna tell you that right now. Mm, you humans and the desire to scribble thoughts down, I will never understand. Oh, search the bookshelves. All books sit neatly stacked on the dusty shelves in an organized mess only the librarian could decipher. I stumble upon a strange contraption with symbols built into the bookshelf. I think I can use this note to crack the code. That's fire. So I think I can only do this because I dug through that dude's trash and found the note fire six turns left okay um <clears throat> 11 10 and 5 all right <clears throat> um 10 <clears throat> and pushes any blocking card <clears throat> Uh, 
uh, so if it's, it's four, eight, oh God, that's 12. No, that's, is that 11? That's 11. What am I talking about? If I pull these together, then that can be 11. I need a three. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> That's 11. <clears throat> okay, so I could do, for five, I could just pull this down, wait for this, and then when I get the four, <clears throat> I can decrease it by one to get it three, and then I can lock that. And then this needs, okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> okay. Buying me lock, <laughs> dork. I prepared my whole life for this. <clears throat> ah, there we go. Ah, the dusty notes and old wrinkled documents are lying hidden in this secret compartment. Nice, what did I get? Hidden Town Secret. Documents regarding the mayor and his connection to the Order of Midland have been found. It states his involvement in the coup of Westmark Estate with the helping hand of a man named Graven Craven. First name is inked out. The town is colluding with the Order of Midland in exchange for something unknown. The Order are able to roam the lands freely as a result. What are they getting for this? Single words or entire paragraphs are inked over or missing so can't make heads or tails of this. There is a historical section in the text lower down. The founder of Burmouth, Abraham Brooks, he commenced the work on the harbor with trade and transportation as a goal. Things didn't go as planned since the constant curse weather and bad logistics created issues. Abraham had to rethink his strategies and opted for fishing and farming further in Lansley. This section also speaks of Brooks Clasp, a cataclysmic event during 1733. During this time, the village was plunged into a year of darkness, storms, drought, and sickness. Burmouth was quarantined in hopes of stopping the spread of destruction. A year later, everything reverted to normal. The founder of the town, however, was gone, never to to be seen again interesting okay that's interesting um speak to the librarian or pedestal what the hell are we even in here for again i don't even remember <clears throat> um <clears throat> a dusty relic, which must be older than the town itself, rests upon a large pedestal at the far edge of the library. Nestled in the shadows, and seemingly unimportant. I definitely shouldn't approach this, but I'm going to. 
lit, but still hardly legible due to its no doubt old age. I lean in to take a closer peek. As I approach this tome, a feeling of insignificance overwhelms me. The papers are so thin that they almost crumble between my fingers, but the scribbles on them appear otherworldly. It's hard to describe. Seems similar to my own family heirloom. Better I write this down for reference. Okay. These pages are hard to decipher, but some parts are written in Latin. They describe the conservators' ranks of the Nifoligian Order, also known as the Order of Midland. The Order is a branch sect of the Nifoligian Nif Society devoted to finding a path back to Midland. Ancient ones, noble conduits, prophet, cleric, ecclesiastic. All right, all right, ancient ones. Hmm, that sure sounds familiar, don't it? Don't it? A lady sits at the top of a ladder with books between her arms and legs while digging her face deep into a historical textbook. I want to make contact, but hesitation grabs me for a moment. <clears throat> oh, a new one. Wait there, I'll be right down. <laughs> uh, yes, arrived quite recently. Ah, so that's why. As you can see, visitors are few and far between. But you hold an impressive amount of books for such a small building. Hmm, a complimentary man. That will get you far in life. And yes, we do love to keep our writing stuck since... No, never mind. Since... I lift the corners of my lips into an attempted smile, prompting her to sharpen her gaze. You should really look in a mirror. You seem as if you're about to threaten the poor Bruh. woman. Ah, shh. Okay, come on, come on. 50% soul, it is all I put my persona points in. If I fail this, if I fail this and I'm an incel, I don't even know what to say, bruh. Ah! Oh. An outsider does not need to know. What is that? Like, what is that based off of? I mean, literally. The only three persona points that I have had this entire game, I have put into soul. And you're telling me that I still don't, like, I still am only 50% chance? That can't, that has to just be random. Because uh, that has to just be random. A bit harsh, isn't it? I'm a Westmark. Oh, for context, I was ranting about how basically I tried to charm her and I had 50% soul and I just kind of don't get how that works because the persona points that I have, I have gotten three so far. I could have gotten more, but I missed them. But I've gotten three so far and they're all in soul and yet I don't think that changes my percentage chance of succeeding a soul skill which is really confusing because you'd think that would definitely have an effect or maybe it it does and I'm just not high enough soul level or something but like whatever that was just a bit annoying do you even know anything about your family here your silence says it all so Herbert what <clears throat> brings you to my humble abode Tell her you hunt what lurks in the night. <coughs> Ambrose, <coughs> I uh, <coughs> help people such as yourself with problems. I don't want to be rude, but you seem to be the one in need of some help. <laughs> Lady, that's what I've been telling him for several years. 
Uh, say, you wouldn't have any historical records regarding the Westmark family? Well, certainly. I believe it's in the row further's back. Come, I'll show you. She stops near a bookshelf, and her face frowns as she shuffles through the shelf, seeming a bit perplexed. That's not right. There looks to be volumes missing. The information you were looking for is not here, I'm afraid. Do you see who checked the information last? I just have a last name jotted down. Craven. Does not say any more than that. Is there anyone in town who knows my father Benjamin, or nephew Theodore? Only one person knows all the people who lived in these parts. Only one that is still with us is Father Malone at the church. You could go ask him. Oh, really? Has it been misplaced? I keep a strict order on everything here. I will have to see if it's been reported missing or if they're misplaced. Excuse me. Thanks for the help. My old age has caught up to me, and without the proper equipment, I won't be able to read it. <sighs> I already did read it, and I got this from it, so I'm not sure why that's still an option. <clears throat> Don't think there's much else we can do here, Ambrose. Oh, wait up! I did go through the records, and no one has checked that section for years. Though there is a possibility of someone coming in and just taking it. We don't hold guards at the door or anything like that, so smuggling things out really isn't a challenge. That's odd. Why would anyone take a thing like that? I don't know. I apologize for the inconvenience. Always a pleasure doing business with a fellow traveler. Farewell. Oh, great. I think I passed... I passed by Frogman. And now I get to deal with Corrupted Devotee. Joyous. <laughs> Surely this won't be a devastating loss. Ew. Why oh, he built like that, bruh? His arms look cool, though. Um. He's corrupted, right? So this should... Okay, yeah, let's use this. Alright. <clears throat> Right, eleven down. Five, <clears throat> four. Okay, so these two could be four. That could be two. <clears throat> and then I could move that. Move that, maybe. <clears throat> solid <clears throat> all right <clears throat>
So you move it out there and then this could drop and then that could be four. could be four on like turn two I think or I could combine these two <clears throat> Interesting. <clears throat> of course, of course it got cursed after I used it. Oh my god, this dude is gonna destroy me. <laughs> Oof. Of course it got cursed after. After I used it, pain. <clears throat> Alright. <clears throat> Six. Mm, okay. Really? Like, I have four ones that go to the left? Are you serious? What a flop. I should just restart this over. My good god. My good god. It's not looking good. Can I restart this?
pleasure. Goodbye. Twenty-seven. Wow. All right.
This fight is literally like uh, five times more difficult than anything that I've done. And I just don't understand like why <laughs> there's such a spike in difficulty. Like, I don't, <sighs> maybe I like played the game wrong and I went to like the wrong places or something. I don't know. <clears throat> stay there, four and three can stay there. <clears throat> three and five, wow, okay. Interesting. Interesting indeed. <clears throat> <clears throat> I 
No le dejo a tus padres. Please call me. Thank you. No, Gosh, that was so difficult. <clears throat> nice. Equipment dagger, okay. Delving deeper into the woods covers my surroundings in a veil of darkness. It feels as if a malevolent force lurks around every corner. I went on deeper, but won't be able to see where I'm headed in this darkness. This is so stupid. So, <laughs> okay, I don't get this. Like, you have two options. Either use the item, which I don't have, or continue in the dark. Like, you're gonna punish me for not having the item? Okay. Let- thanks. Um, Herbert, we won't see a darn thing out here without any light. Yeah, no shit. Stop complaining, it's me doing all the walking. True, but I am the one who has to live with your old man groans when you're hurt. I can see some light over there. Someone might be able to help us find a way back to the road. He's holding an axe. I don't know about this, Herb. Maybe we should turn back. Okay, yeah, thanks. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoyed this a lot, but also there, I, there's just some things about it that I don't really get. But I think that might just be um, like a D&D &D type of thing that this kind of has going for it. Anyway, I really enjoyed this.